Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing well today. This is the last of my Moon Man series of fountain pen uh, quick looks, well, specifically because these are the last two Moon Man pens that I have in my collection. Um, as you can see, and as you can read from the title of my video, this, these are actually the Moon Man M800 pens. And I have them in two, uh, these two colors. This is uh, amber, kind of an orangey, clear kind of look. And this is blue. Of the two pens, uh, in terms of pure looks, uh, it's pretty obvious which one I actually like more. In terms of, uh, it's actually the blue one. There's nothing wrong with the amber one. It's just that, um, you know, certain specific parts of the celluloid, which is the material that they use to make this pen, it, it kind of uh, reflects differently. So it's, it wasn't um, mixed or kind of swirled evenly to give it a nice finish. And the blue one, you know, I think it was kind of made better, at least this very specific pen that I have. Um, when I got these pens, um, I got them in the two configurations that uh, Moonman pens come in. So this particular one, the amber one, came with the Moonman nib. It's just a fairly typical gold-plated um, steel nib. In in my kind of interpretation while writing, it's it's kind of in between a medium um, and a fine. And the blue one, I got it in with the Bok nib. So it's a. So as you can see, the Bok nib is. Um, sorry about all the ink flying everywhere. The Bok nib is two toned. And it's really, it really looks very nice. And it, it feels nicer in, when in, in writing as well, which we'll get to later on. So the, in terms of what I inked the pens with, um, which you'll see when I kind of do a brief writing sample later on, the orange one was loaded with uh, Waterman Mysterious Blue or Blue Black. And this one, was loaded with uh, Parker Quink. Right, apologies that I didn't use the same ink, but you know that was what I uh, I used. And I, as you probably noticed from quite a lot of my uh, reviews so far, I I like blue black quite a lot. In terms of what the the pens came with, both the pens came in a similar box, the same box. Um, so it's just a cardboard box. In front, it says Moon Man, feel the temperature of writing, which is pretty much a literal literal translation of the, the Chinese written here. Uh, incidentally, Moon Man uh, in Chinese is actually carpenter or woodworker. So they might have been in that business before um, doing stationery. And this is the Bok nib um, box, as you can tell. And it's 298 Chinese yen, which translates to, um, if I get my, my currency conversion correct, roughly 45 US dollars. This is the, the box that the orange one came in. And this is the non, I mean the Moon Man nib. And it's 208 yen, which translates to around 30 US dollars. I paid less than that. Um, I think you can get some deals if you buy the pen from uh, you know, the specific vendor that gives you a good deal. So the box that both of the pens come in, they have a little foam uh, kind of protective uh, shell down here. They come with this little piece of paper which was kind of inserted like that which might be useful if, if you wanted to compare whether or not you got a 
authentic moon man when you if you buy it from one of those vendors out there and in terms of uh, literature or instructions this was the in kind of instruction sheet that the pen came with both pens came with one and it tells you all the various configurations this is obviously the converter and the, the cartridge this is this looks like an m2 wait sorry it's not an m2 it, it looks like a piston filler of some sort this is the vacuum filler this is this is probably more the m2 of the eyedropper and this is like a kind of a push mechanism to fill I'm, i've not seen this pen before if anyone knows what type of pen this is you know you can drop me a, a note in the comments it just this uh, part of the instructions just tells you um, you know how to clean the pen and what to take note of okay i'll take the box away and we'll look at the pens themselves so i'm just gonna concentrate more on one of the pens which is the blue one since both of them are the same some key points about the both pens is the size of the pen it is quite uh, thick so it's not it's definitely not a pen that you can slide into um, if you have like a journal with that with the leather loop on the side of the journal it might be too thick to to fit in those type of leather loops so it's it really is pretty thick in terms of length i would say it's a it's a comfortable length and it's and it's really light right so the celluloid which is essentially plastic that they used you know not much in terms of metal besides the clip down here the clip itself has a little wheel it doesn't I think it spins yes it does spin at the end of the clip um, not sure how useful that spinny thing is uh, but the clip clip itself is not the tightest but it doesn't kind of move that much which is fine and the pen actually comes with some some decorations in terms of little rings one here and then three down here i think this is called the finial which is the end of the cap and it's just a pointed piece down here and and uh, the bottom of the body is also just just a pointed piece of plastic this part here doesn't screw off as far as i can tell um, one pet peeve of mine for a lot of chinese pens is you know pens that actually have a screw in the, on the bottom of of the cap and i don't see one here which is which is good in terms of the the actual uh, pen itself i mean the body of the the main body of the pen um, i mentioned the nib it is it is i i hope it's a real bock nib i i don't have any other bock nibbed uh, fountain pens and it has both of the moon man nibs and the bock uh, one they have a similar style feet nothing nothing really fancy but it really has a lot of fins and is a really big feed this part of the pen which is the the section where you actually put your fingers on when writing is is to me one of the most important parts of the pen i mean a lot of pen manufacturers don't get this part of the pen correct uh, and i'm specifically calling out pen makers like pelican whereby this section is too short for me and it's too small and the the kind of the resulting effect when writing is it gets very uncomfortable for me at least with my uh, size hands right when I'm trying to kind of hold small piece down here for a very long time uh, but this one is fine it actually has a step as you can tell down here uh, the as you can probably tell it's a screw screw on cap and the screw threads are pretty smooth i mean it doesn't bite at you if you if you like to hold the pen a little bit higher when writing 
otherwise it's it's pretty well made it's it's very light like i mentioned so it's very balanced you probably could write with this pen the whole day in this position in terms of posting i i wouldn't post a pen of this size but you can you can do so i mean it's just a push to post type action but i i, I probably wouldn't right so in terms of writing um, i'm just going to bring my notepad down here and you will i mean you can't really see this on the on the camera i suppose but the bulk nib is can't write today it, it is significantly uh, smoother uh, compared to this orange one right and it was smooth out of the box the orange one um, This, the orange one had to be kind of prepped the usual way and if you've seen my previous videos pretty easy to prep just kind of make um, this type of pattern this type of pattern on a cardboard box or any kind of rough piece of paper like a like a you know the food packaging that your McDonald's burger came in um, after doing that it is okay um, but it's definitely not as wet of a rider compared to the blue one. The blue one came, I mean, if it's made by Bok, it's really made by Bok. Very light pressure, I'm hardly pressing down the paper, and a lot of ink is, is laid down. So in terms of my recommendation, if you're thinking about getting one of these pens, I would definitely recommend that you pay uh, the extra $15 or so. I'm not sure how much you can get it right now. I mean, I, um, I, I see on places like Amazon that the prices of these pens have actually gone up by quite a lot. I have no idea why. But uh, my recommendation, if you're on the, on the fence between getting the Bok one or the normal Moonman uh, nib, definitely get the Bok one. And I think you'll, you'll enjoy this pen uh, it's a classy looking pen and you enjoy, you probably can use this pen to, to write for a long time without getting tired. And it's, um, if I were to recommend uh, or at least um, recommend people to buy this pen, should, should you get this pen? I would definitely say yes. It's a, it's a good buy if you get it cheap enough. Incidentally, I did not pay the prices which I mentioned. I got this pen for less or roughly $30 US and I think that's it's pretty good for the for the you know the, the pen quality that you get okay so it's a little bit longer of a video that I did today I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will see you back uh, here in the channel real soon please remember to subscribe and leave any comments if you have any questions uh, for the video today thanks very much